What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you how to solve equations that have two radicals in them, all right? And I'm also going to show you how to check for extraneous solutions. Now here uh, we have the square root of x plus 2 plus 1 is equal to the square root of 3 minus x, all right? Now in order to get rid of a radical, or square root in this uh, case, all you have to do is square it, okay? That would be our first step here. And uh, if this were, you know, a cube root, then in order to get rid of that, we would have cubed it. If this was a fourth root, we would raise it to the fourth power, and so on. Okay, but again, this is just a square root, so we just have to square it. And whatever we do to one side of an equation, we have to do to the other, right? So we have to square this whole side also. Okay, so then on this side, the square root and the squared exponent cancel each other out, so we're just left with what's inside the radical, which is Right, right here, 3 minus x, and then that's equal to this whole thing squared, right? And I'll actually, uh, let's, let's wait to write that. <laughs> let's make some room first. So let's actually multiply this out. So the square root of x plus 2 plus 1 squared. So we're going to have the square root of x plus 2 plus 1 times the square root of x plus 2 plus 1. 1, right? So that's this thing squared. And that's going to be equal to, again, just what's inside of our radical, 3 minus x. That's all that's left. Okay, now here uh, we can actually foil these two together because we have basically four terms, right? So the square root of x plus 2, we have a positive 1, we have the square root of x plus 2, and a positive 1. So uh, first of all, the square root of x plus 2 times the square root of x plus 2, that's the same thing as basically the square root of x plus 2 squared, right? And when, whenever we square a square root, those cancel each other out, right? So then we're just left with whatever, whatever is left inside the radical, which is just x plus 2. Okay, so we can simplify the square root of x plus 2 times the square root of x plus 2 to just x plus 2, all right? Now we have the square root of x plus 2 times positive 1, so that's positive uh, square root of x plus 2. Same thing here, uh, positive 1 times the square root of x plus 2 is the positive square root of x plus 2. And then lastly, 1 times 1 is 1. All right, now again, that's equal to 3 minus x. Now here we can actually combine uh, some common terms, right? So uh, this positive 2 and positive 1, that's 3. So here we have x plus 3. And then here, the square root of x plus 2 plus the square root of x plus 2. That's the same thing as 2 times the square root of x plus 2, right? So I'm going to write it as uh, plus 2 times the square root of x plus 2. And then over here again, we have 3 minus x. Okay, so as you can see, we still have this radical that we need to get rid of, but before squaring it, let's get rid of much of this crap as we can so we don't have to square anything else over here. Uh, so here, let's get rid of the x and the 3. So uh, we're going to subtract x and subtract 3, okay? So those cancel out. And on this side, we're just left with 2 times uh, x plus 2, square root of x plus 2. And that's equal to, well, that goes to 0. Negative x minus x is equal to negative 2x, all right? Uh, now we can get rid of the 2 by dividing both sides by 2. Those cancel out. So we're left with the square root of x plus 2 is equal to uh, negative x, right? Negative 1x, or just negative x. Okay, cool. Now that we got rid of all that other crap, now we can square this. Uh, so let's square this side, right? And we'll square this side. All right, so then here those cancel out. So then we're just left with x plus 2 is equal to x squared. Okay, now it looks like we almost have a trinomial in standard form, right? x squared, we have an x, and our constant. So let's move all of these to just one side. So let's move them all to the right side over here. And actually, I'm just going to write it up here. So we have right now x plus 2 is equal to x squared. But I'm going to move the x and the 2 to the right side. So subtract x, subtract 2, right? Subtract x, subtract 2. Those cancel out, so we just get a zero on this side, big fat zero, and that's equal to x squared minus x minus two, all right? Now we have a trinomial that we can factor, right? So we're gonna say that zero is equal to, and we're gonna factor this guy, 
Uh, so we can break this up into x minus 2 and x plus 1. Okay, now to solve for our x's, you basically just set whatever is in the parentheses equal to 0, right? So then here inside this parentheses, uh, x would be equal to positive 2, and here x would be equal to negative 1. Okay, cool. So as you can see, we got two answers, right? 2 and negative 1. So the last thing we have to do is just check each one and see if it actually works in our original uh, equation or not. Okay, so I'm going to just clean this up a little bit so it's a little more clear what we're plugging in. All right, so we're going to plug in, uh, let's first try 2. So let's plug in 2 for x over here. So we're going to get, uh, first of all, the square root of 2 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to the square root of 3 minus 2. So then here uh, we get the square root of 4 plus 1 is equal to the square root of 1. Here we get 2 plus 1 is equal to 1. Now, this is obviously a false statement, right? 3 does not equal 1. So that means this solution that we tested, uh, x is equal to 2, is actually not a solution. It's an extraneous solution. And extraneous solutions are not real solutions, right? So this one right here is extraneous, all right? Uh, now let's test, uh, let's fix that. Now let's test our other solution over here, x is equal to negative one. So if we plug in a negative one for x, we're gonna get the square root of negative one plus two, plus one is equal to the square root of three minus negative one. All right, so then here we get the square root of positive one, right? Plus one is equal to the square root of positive four. All right, so then here we get one plus one is equal to two. All right, so then here we get that two is equal to two. It's obviously a true statement. So that means this solution, x is equal to negative one, is a true solution. It's actually our only solution in this case because our other one was extraneous, right? So then this would be our one actual solution. X is equal to negative one. Boom. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.